Hi everyone, I am planting my corn. It's that time. I wanted to plant them directly into this garden box here, which is why I had it covered to keep the heat in, but it's just a little too cold for them. And if you can see the uh, leaves are starting to wilt, I think they need more um, warmth, which the soil would provide. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna be putting them into these um, little cartones, which I will then plant, I'll cut out the bottom and then I'll put them directly into the soil so that the roots can still grow and the moisture from the soil will make these all soggy and it'll be easy for the um, for the roots to bust through them. So I've had to pick them apart very gently. But like look at those roots. They're amazing and clearly they're not gonna want to be in such a small space for too long like most of us. <laughs> So I'm going to probably plant them within the next couple of days, but this is just to get them some warmth. Um, I'm actually, I was taught to integrate my DNA with the corn DNA by putting them in your mouth before you plant them. I didn't put them in my mouth before I germinated, germinated them. So I'm actually gonna spit into the soil. And what that does is it, kind of just like activates the seed with my DNA and also my intention for growing. Keep trying to, um, you know, keep a prayerful mindset while I do this. I was listening, oh, hi Bean. I was listening to some uh, prayer songs for corn as I was planting this um, because I, I really want this blue corn to grow and be happy. And then, so like that. And then I'm using this um, outdoor organic raised bed mix. Um, nothing too fancy, but I do want it to be organic. <laughs> Little babies. <laughs> so all of the blue corn are in these little pots in a pretty warm spot where they'll stay for the next couple of days until I plant them directly into the garden bed. Here I am at my garden bed. I decided to try a different version of planting for the rainbow corn. Um, so the blue corn is in little um, cardboard planters. This I put some organic raised bed mix in my garden box so it smells delicious. And I'm going to be putting the corn. I took them out of the little box. They're all together tangled, as you can see. And they're ready for some more space. So I'm going to be planting them on this side of my box so that they don't shade out the other um, crops that I want to put in my box here. So I'm probably, I'm not going to do this in any methodical way. I'm just going to um, do a shaka and do the next hole here another shaka, another hole. And um, as you can see, these roots are pretty long. They're real tangled with each other. So you kind of have to do it a little gently, but check out just how deep and long those corn roots want to go. So probably going to do them about to my, as far as my fingers will go really. Um, I'm also going to spit in these <laughs> because of the DNA activation um, and intention that I want my corn to have. And then so once I make the holes um, here, I'm going to stagger them, meaning that if I have two holes right here, I got this two holes, then the third one's going to be here. So it's like triangulation so that they have a little bit of room to grow with each other. These are so deep. And then I pat them, make them kind of cozy in there. My little corn is planted. See how it's wilting? It definitely needed the warmth and moisture of soil. So I maybe waited a little too long, um, but I did want the, the weather to warm up a little bit. 
since it's not super super warm here I'm probably going to put um, plastic over the the entire garden bed so it can retain some heat Roots downwards and tuck them in <laughs> all right I'm all in here you want to plant one And now all of the babies are in, so we're going to add some water very gently. The roots are probably a little bit shocked from um, being transplanted, but we'll put lots of prayers and gentle water so that they hopefully grow. The water kind of acts like glue, sealing in the roots so that they get acclimated to their new environment. And there's my first crop of corn. I'm really excited. And the beans that I sprouted, the kidney beans, will go um, with the blue corn. And these pinto beans will do their own thing in their own separate pot. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be going on live tonight at 8 p.m. and every Monday at 8 to give you some updates about how the corn and beans are doing and some other things I'm up to. Bye!